Whenever I'm on vacation, like I was last week, I always try to take off time from, you know, work, emails, social networks, because I find it really helps me clean my head and get back with, you know, fresh and insights and stuff like that. And when I was on vacation this week, I was also really trying to be offline, but there was one thing that I could not stop checking and interacting with, and that is Intercom. Intercom is a software that we use to communicate with uh, customers and users uh, using Prospero, our new product. And I've kind of set an automation there to see that if somebody has tried Prospero and has not sent a real proposal in a, a week afterwards, I'm gonna send him an, an email saying, hey, why didn't you use it? And I am keep getting super great feedback from people about what's not working for them. And I could not stop reading it and like replying them because it really helps me understand what's working and not working right now. So I'm gonna share that with you today, how, how it works and what's the feedback that I've been getting. Right now though, I'm heading to the new school meeting, see what the guys have been up to last week and hope for a great day. <laughs> So that was a good meeting, but towards the end of it, I started to feel really bad. I think I caught cold on the last day, and today I feel really crappy. So I took a sleep for like two hours now. Now drinking tea, I feel a bit better. And I still want to make something productive out of this day. So I want to share with you what I was talking about before the intercom, how I work with it, and try to sum up the feedback that I have to gain some insight as to what we should be doing next to improve the product that we're working on. So this is Intercom. It's the system that we use to uh, manage our users and kind of communicate with them. And as you can see, I can see each user and what he's been doing and all the communications I had with him and who he is. And I can also send messages. So I've kind of created an automatic message that, as you can see, it's going to be sent to everybody who is a user that it's been one week and real send proposal count is zero which means he didn't send any proposal and one week has passed so we're going to send him a message and here's the message that's being sent to him um it's hey i saw that you use prospero but i want to understand why you didn't use it and as you can see it's been sent 156 times and i had quite a few responses and each response turns into a conversation so i can really get to know the person and dive deep into what's not working for them so I, had, I have a lot of insight from it, uh, but since there were a lot of conversation, it's kind of just a lot of bullet points in my head. I want to organize it into the doc of feedback from users so that I can really make sense of it. Alright, so that was pretty helpful to see everything written down, all the feedback in one place, and now I can really understand what people are saying. And basically it's around two things. One of them is people are saying there is still a lot of work to be done after you finish the wizard for the proposal, so they still have to put a lot of effort in, and it's just not worth it, they can just stick to what proposal they were using before. And the second one is around the customization. Of, uh, of the proposal. They want to make it look different or add different section and the most popular request is to add pricing tables. You see most people want to put a breakdown of the prices in their proposals and we kind of went with a different approach, a three packages approach that we really believe is a good way to sell your services and but it seems that it doesn't sit with a lot of people they want to continue using what they used before. So it's a good insight to understand that we need to change that in order to create product that people are willing to pay for. But now, 
I really want to solve all the problems all at once, but I will probably create a huge version that will take like two months of work. So I'm really going to have to think how I can try to solve the most important problems in, in a quick version so that we can really see improvement in the product. Anyway, I'll be thinking about that in the upcoming days and of course I'll share that with you. Right now, I think I'm gonna go rest for a little bit. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.